morning. <laughs> well, last year I think we last year I had the the H H two um, with airbags on it, the black one. This year uh, I got rid of the H two because everybody uh, and their mother has an H two now, so uh, I have to be different like always. So I went out and, and bought the the G fifty five AMG Mercedes Benz, uh, the sports utility, uh, just something different. And to me. Um, I'm not the type of person that goes out and splurge on, on things like that, but I feel I work hard for it and I earn it, but at the same time, having something like this gives me an appreciation to work harder. So that's the reason why I do stuff like that. And you know, I still want to be able to enjoy it uh, when I'm still young, but I notice for me as a motivation, if I go out and, and buy something like that or drive something like that, then I know I have to work harder to accomplish what I need to do in, in my life and, go, and goals. Same partner. Another year. Second year this year, you won the Masters National again, the 50 and over in the heavyweight class. Uh, didn't win the overall, so didn't get his uh, Master Pro card, but still did really well two years in a row. Another back day again. Landed on the same day. But oh, I well. see the difference a lot more tighter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Prepared longer this time, knowing that I didn't compete all year long, so this has to be a good shot for me. No injury this year, knock on wood. Um, after we shot last last time, the next day I got injured. Uh, that's when I tore my, my patella. So uh, the last three weeks, we couldn't really train legs or do anything. So this year is tough. It's a good year. We'll see how we end up this time. Still training with the young guys. Still kicking our ass. <laughs> How old are you? What's that? How old are you, sir? 51.
This time we filmed uh, about a week and a half out. I think last time when we did this it was probably about three weeks out. And uh, the day afterward is when I uh, is when I tore my patella. So three weeks out, unfortunately, leg training was a was a no no go. Uh, surgery went well back in February. Um, game plan went as well. I'm competing after the Olympia. Did the European tour and requalified. So gave me a whole year to just recover and freshen up. Uh, I felt pretty good going into the show. Last year, if I was to rate myself, I was probably about 65, 70% going into Olympia. So uh, this year, everything went as planned. Um, we diet longer. We train smarter. Um, we just took our time this time and not have to try to rush the show. So we had a whole year to do that. So I feel really good going into this year, Olympia. Um, 12th place last year, as long as I'm moving up, I'm doing good. So. Uh, who knows? I mean, if I place top 10, I'd be happy. If I place top six, I'd be ecstatic. So um, sky's the limit. I mean, all I could do is take my best package and 
bring it to the table and whatever the judge sees, I mean, that's all we can, we can pray for. So um, other than that, I, I think it's a great year. Um, we accomplished what we want. So we're a week and a half out, and really the last week won't count because we'll be in Vegas already. So um, I think it'll, it'll be a successful year. <laughs> Yeah. 
Chris. Come on, pull now. Pull. Come on. Come on. Good. Come on. That's it. Gotta re rack your weight. Yeah, we still, for, for, for me, uh, they always say if it ain't broken, don't fix it. All we, all we can do is improve on it. Uh, I, got, uh, Mi, I got Milos as far as, uh, as a friend, I mean, he, we put our input together. Milos, my workout partner, Leonard, and then we have another workout partner that, was, that wasn't here today who was here, but he was injured, uh, Chris Struve. So we, 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 we just make each other, we look at each other, we, we, we put stuff together, and we strategize. Uh, try to pull a strategy that works for us and and uh, it's always nice to have more head than, than one to, to really analyze the whole picture so instead of just doing everything um, one way putting all our head together and try to analyze and see what works best for us so um, I think it works well I mean um, can't ask for anything better I mean Leonard as a partner has always been a uh, supportive it that he can ever be so um, I think overall I think I have a good team Way too hard this time. Died it way too long. Yeah, as far as uh, what I noticed about me after all these years, um, if I diet longer, last normally my normal typical diet is anywhere between eight to about twelve weeks, and uh, this time we didn't want to take a chance, so we went ahead and started dieting about seventeen, eighteen weeks out, really gradually going into it, and. I noticed my body, uh, even with a lot of Asians that I know, um, they, we have thicker skin. So being that we do have thicker skin, we have to diet longer to get it. Rip is one thing, but to get it grainy, it's, it's another level. Um, so I've noticed this year my skin's really tightened up a lot more and it's getting that thin skin grainy look. And that's what we wanted to accomplish this year going into the show. And to do that, we've noticed we have to diet longer. Well, you know, being Asian, I grew up, of course, on rice. I mean, there's no such thing as breakfast. Rice is breakfast. Or rice is whenever we can get them in. So, um, but at the same time, uh, I've been doing this since I was 17 years old as far as competing and dieting. So uh, my mom is, when I first started dieting, she thought I was crazy uh, not eating rice. But, I mean, eventually she catched on that, you know, I can't do rice in the evening time. So if she, if she would, if I go over there, well, if she does feed me, it'll be rice during the daytime. So um, as long as you can, uh, you know, balance yourself and you can still have rice, just keep it early in the day. And, you know, at nighttime, you know you're going to do most storage, so cut it out at night. For me, the, the only difference is during, during the off season, um, I don't go extreme like a lot of bodybuilders. I don't you know, put on 30, 40, 50 pounds and take them all off. I mean, I fluctuate about 
10 pounds maybe so you know 10 15 pound max so mainly it's just water weight um my i eat clean all year long so i really don't get out of shape too much um i keep my abs all year long um it's just for me it's uh, it's it's a healthy way of doing it versus uh going from one extreme to the other which is nothing wrong with that but for me i, I choose to eat clean all year uh you know, all year long so i mean um sorry it's low carbs um but at the same time i mean it, that works for me and and you know someone else could disagree so i just think that you just have to fit in your lifestyle what you can do and i just feel a lot better if i'm not you know 30 40 pounds overweight and breathing heavy so being had a a, a real good quiet year really never quiet because i mean bet between my son's soccer game and the jiu-jitsu and and um you know the business the max muscle store and then my website and everything else that i'm doing i'm busy all the way around anyway but um uh for next year it'll be a busier year i'm gonna focus on olympia and then right after olympia i have a, get, a couple guest appearance and then um we're really gonna focus on the ironman arno in san francisco for next year so um it won't be that much of a break i'll probably get a few weeks break and then back into training again right after olympia I was in Japan a, a couple of weeks back and, um, you know, the traveling that I do, it has to be really worth it for me because I really don't want to miss my kids' uh, soccer game and, and, and their events that they're doing and their schooling and everything else. So um, Japan trip was the last place I visited a couple of weeks ago. That was my guest's last appearance. But um, it, it's really, really nice and it's really shocking how, much, how many fans you have around the world. Um, and being being that I am Asian, going into some a place like Japan, an Asian country, the fan base is just incredible. I mean, they said I've got more fan base than anybody else out there as a pro bodybuilder. So that makes me feel real good and motivated coming in to this year Olympia too. So I know if I do better, then then you know it's just going to be that much better for everybody else and all my Asian representative, I guess. But. Of course, I have fans uh, all around the world, so it doesn't matter what race you are. <laughs>